Hi, my name is Ton. I'm 2021 pharmacy candidate. Today I'm going to present about a drug named Glipizide. Glipizide brand name is Glocotrol or Glocotrol XL for extended release. Glipizide is used to treat a type 2 diabetes in adults. It belongs to a class called sulfonylurea. Basically, Glipizide stimulates the beta cell to secrete the insulin. The reason that Glipizide has been used widely is because it's cheap and pretty effective in lowering blood sugar. In addition, Glipizide is a drug of choice for renal failure, so there is no need for dose adjustment in patients with chronic kidney disease. However, the long-term use of Glipizide can cause the beta cell to overwork and burn out and eventually its effect may wear up with time. The major side effects of Glipizide are hypoglycemia and weight gain. Therefore, patients should be educated on hypoglycemia management and the importance of physical exercise to maintain the healthy weight. As I mentioned above, Glipizide is an anti-diabetic drug. However, it's rarely used as a first line or monotherapy. Instead, Glipizide is used as an add-on therapy with metformin in addition to diet and exercise to control the blood glucose in patients with type 2 diabetes. The reason GLP is effective is because it can reduce the A1C by 1 to 2% and that is a pretty big change. If the patient has elevated A1C with about 7 and below 10, like in the picture on the right, GLP may have to lower the A1C below 7 within the goal for all diabetic patients. The starting dose of Glipizide is 2.5 mg every day, 30 minutes before a meal. Dose higher than 50 mg per day should be divided, and maximum is 20 mg twice a day. For the Glipizide ER, the starting dose is 2.5 to 5 mg a day with breakfast or the first main meal. The maximum is 20 mg per day. The picture on the right is the bottle of Glipizide ER. The patient must be counseled not to curse chew or split the tablet because doing so can release all the drug particles at once which increase the risk of side effect. For the pharmacokinetic of Glipizide, its duration of action is about 12 to 24 hours. The absorption is uniform, rapid, and essentially complete. Its uh, peak plasma concentration is 1 to 3 hours and 6 to 12 hours for extended release. 98 to 99% of Glipizide by 2 albumin and its half-life elimination is 2 to 4 hours. The metabolism of Glipizide is extensive and happens mainly in the liver. The primary metabolites are inactive hydroxylation and polar conjugate, which are excreted mainly in the urine and less than 10% of unchanged Glipizide is found in the urine. While being on Glipizide, patients should monitor their blood glucose regularly and have A1C measure every 3 to 6 months. Patients also should be educated to recognize hypoglycemia symptoms like shaking, sweating, confusion, dizzy, being nervous, and anxious. Patients must be cautioned about the situation that can cause hypoglycemia, such as after exercise, mixed meal, the use of high dose, and longer acting drug. And this concludes my presentation today. Thank you for listening.